Okay, good morning, Dominic and Elliot. How are you guys bright and early this Toronto morning? <laughs> yeah, it's a great day, isn't it? We've it's done. beautiful. Yeah, I'm, I'll take what I can get for the rest of the summer. It's all good. Uh, congratulations to the two of you. I did uh, experience this at TIFF last year. Wow. And I, I can't even, I know how I felt, goosebumpy. Uh, I don't even know how you guys must have felt to premiere it here, Elliot. <laughs> oh, gosh, yes, goosebumpy, yes, as one typically is at a premiere. And I mean, I guess, I guess what I really just felt is such um, gratitude and uh, so fortunate to be there with Dominic and Hillary and the rest of our incredible cast and crew who, um, poured yeah. their hearts into this film and collaborated to, you know, make this piece. So it yeah. was a special to, to be there with the film. hundred percent, I'm sure. Um, Dominic, I want to know how the two of you connected. Um, how did you meet? How did you decide that you were going to make this beautiful film? Um, and just, yeah, just tell me the origin, of, please, of how you guys got together. I'm so, I'm so, so pleased we're together now because it started on Zoom. And, and it was it was really interesting actually because you'd imagine that, that over Zoom we couldn't necessarily connect in the way that you can in real life. Sure. Actually, we did. It was like I think we understood each other really well, very immediately. Um, and that was that's almost like the most important thing. We didn't even know we were going to work together at that point. It was literally about just test i suppose we test we have to test the water both actors and, and directors just to see if we're on the same wavelength really um and and we were and we are and that was that's kind of so much it's such a big thing it's such a great thing because i don't it doesn't always happen like that you know uh, For sure. but it yeah, so immediately trusting and we same ideas of films that we liked of films we wanted to thought we wanted to make and then we started working together on the story yeah and then from what i understand elliot i mean most of this this film there's no dialogue written like there's like you know sam goes to his room or whatever it is you know you're, you're and and it it's so real to me obviously for you um what was that like for you to start working on us on a movie like this that is so personal to you. I mean, there's no way that reality didn't blend in to what you were showing us on screen. Did it scare you? Oh gosh. I mean, the things that scared me about it were deaf were more, I'd say, the practical things of like, we were going in and just like improvising this traumatic movie. How does yeah. that work? Like, um, and so it was it was it was mostly that apprehension. I think in the ways that it's personal, I mean, of course, you know, certain, you know, themes that, that relate to identity, of course, uh, and, and what have you, but so much of like the actual storyline itself is really not really like my own, you know, it, it's, it's, it's quite dissimilar, but I think in this way of working, it inherently becomes so personal, I would say, every actor in, in this in this film and when you work in this process and you are having to be um be that present in the moment to do a 20 minute take 40 minute take 53 minute take right and you really really disappear and you can see in all of this the cast these moments of such extreme emotion that often for some would come out of nowhere they didn't know what was going on like you could see how inherently working in this way yeah it's almost personal even if the situation itself is is quite different than your own yeah yeah for sure the tears are real no question from all of you like i could i felt it you know okay dominic i'm, I'm putting you on the spot here embarrassment time for elliot what impressed you most about him? Well, many things. I think the, the, the most important thing is just how much Elliot put himself in it in a completely 100% way. Um, he believed in, um, in me 
and, and this process and what we were going to do. I mean, never once really did, did he, I, th I, think, I think we always, whatever the challenge was, Elliot rose to it. And that's, I mean, it's not absolute that actors do that. You know, a lot of the time they're, they're sort of finding ways that they don't have to confront that thing or don't have to deal with that particular emotion, maybe. Yeah. You know, the truth is it, it was an emotional journey that we went on. And, it, and you just have to be very committed. And it was really committed and always in the scenes, always feeling it, feeling, allowing himself to always feel what was going on. But it's a bit like in life, you know, you're right, you know, you can have conversations that are perfectly great and interesting and wonderful. They don't mean very much. Or you can get involved in something that's meaningful and you don't think about anything else but the conversation. And I think that's mm. the case with the scenes we were making. There was a real sense that that Elliot and the other actors were always in it in a way that it transcended the idea of performance. You know, it wasn't really a, I don't like performances particularly. It was funny on the coming over on the plane, looking at people watching films on the plane. Yeah, they watch them to distract themselves, and that's why I think it's all a distraction. Whereas with the films I like and the way I like to work, it's not. It's you have to focus and feel it and be in it as an audience as well as a, a, an actor. You know, you're in it. Yeah. yeah, it's it's. But yeah, I completely agree with you about that, um, Elliot. I I want to talk to you a little bit about the scene with Wendy Cruz and who I love. Oh my God. Oh God. I, this whole cast is so great. Of course, you know, to have Peter and Wendy as your parents, but um, where she is so um she's trying so hard to get the pronoun right you know and by mistake says she you know you're my little girl you know always see with that and I, it just really really struck me um and in the end of the day you know i think a lot of people really are trying hard they don't they're not they're not intentionally trying to be uh rude or or make you pissed off or you know what i mean it's just how the mom knows their child you know what i mean and so she's trying so hard can you talk to me a little bit about that and, and what that meant to you? And also on a personal level, like just with your own mom too. And, and, and when you just, when you came out and um, it just, it just really touched me. Yeah. I mean, Wendy's amazing, of course. And she is just so good in this movie. And um, yeah, I think, you know, the, those, that storyline in, in particular, you know, and the relationship with the parents, we really wanted to be, mindful it was almost like we sort of set these parameters like we want we you know we don't want a story where he's going home to the sort of stereotypical like you know like transphobic thing you know we didn't want yes relentless trauma and you know um but wanted to show you know the the nuances and the those uncomfortable moments and showing um this mom who's trying, and of course it's taking a second, just like it took my mother a second, and wanted to hopefully just capture all of those little moments and, and dynamics, and it it is a, quite a joy when you watch it with like, you know, there's a lot of queer and trans people in the audience, because you, sure. there's that back or rec recognition, and I think, yeah, we put, you know, there's a lot of weight on these things as, as they should be, as there should be, you know, this is about respecting someone is their humanity, who they are and, and what have you. And also um, it's, it's okay that, you know, make yeah. a mistake, be trying and all of those things. And so, yeah. It was, and, uh, and in terms of, yeah, my mom, it's similar. And it's, again, I, uh, as long as someone's not like really, you know, intentionally coming for me or something, it's not. Oh, okay. you know, yeah, yeah. Patience, it's okay, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got to tell you, um, you both should be very proud of this film. It really was very touching, very moving, and and very real to me. And and of course, obviously, Elliot, for you, um, you know, been interviewing you since day one. So um, it just makes me proud knowing you and. And how brave you and and just just everything that you've done so congratulations to the two of you uh best of luck with it and uh hope to see you again maybe in person soon that would be nice <laughs> thanks for your time thank you, thank you. okay thank you. take care bye-bye <laughs>